going back to the future three. It says the past. Yeah. We're up by Mono Lake. Uh oh, you okay? Be careful. <laughs> Jeez. We're up at the Mono Lake at top of the Vista Point area. It overlooks Mono Lake. says the movies and stuff that have been filmed here, which is pretty cool. We're just taking a break. I was going to use the dump station and everything at this Exxon here, um, but I got plenty of water. We didn't use hardly much of anything, so I still have a lot to go. So I'm going to save the 10 bucks and use it at the, uh, I think tomorrow night, we're going to end up staying at um, a fairgrounds in Fallon. They have hookups and everything. It's like 15 bucks a night. Um, no septic or anything, but that's fine. They do have a dump station, so super easy. Yeah, check out that view. Pretty cool, huh? It's really smoky today. Man, when we were coming up the road down over this way, as soon as we came down that valley, you could just up here, just saw nothing but a haze of smoke. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it is definitely smoky out. So yeah, we we're just finishing up after we left the, uh, what was that, Wild Willies Hot Springs down there. And we're getting ready to turn up here. I don't remember the road, right past Mono Lake up here. And then we're gonna be heading east onto 95 and then north on 95. Um, and we're gonna go stay at Walker Lake tonight. So that's the plan for now. We'll see if that changes, cause it could. You guys all ready to go? Yeah, but can Evan get Muffy a seat? Sure, since I just locked it up and put everything away and got ready to get in the truck, I might as well go back and unlock but, everything and get inside the do, truck and go get stuff again. Hi, hi, kids these days. Hi, hi, hi. Of course, always happens. I'll get ready to put my foot in the door of the truck to sit down. Dad, can I go get this out of the trailer? Oh, Dad, can I get this now? Oh, wait, you're ready to go? You're all done and you locked up and we're ready? Good. Now, can I get something? Huh. Yes. Why you in that it happens all the time. All right, go get it. Hold on. Oh, oh, look, we need more. What do you know? It never fails. As soon as Dad double checks everything and locks the trailer up and gets everything ready, Dad, can I go get this? Dad, can I do this? I gotta go to the bathroom. I got most of the stuff. Uh... Jump! Splash the water. So what else do we need to get before we take off again? You let me know as soon as I sit down in the truck, huh, and start the truck? Yeah, I will. So we're not sure what's down here, but I saw a sign that said point of historic interest, I think. So we're gonna go check it out, since this is a uh, road schooling trip, and see what's down here. Well, we saw the park for a minute, so we're gonna let the kiddos play around for a couple. <laughs> more off-road in Evan. It'll be interesting with the trailer now though. So the road is somewhere over there. And we're just kind of taking some back road, gravel roads out and around. It's nice to just kind of get off the beaten path and go exploring a little bit. You never know what we can run into or run off of, huh Evan, like a cliff? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Mono Lake, Mono Lake over there. We are definitely taking the uh, long way around to get back to the road. <laughs> I didn't know it would take this long, but oh well, that's part of the adventure, huh guys? Murphy, what do you think of this long dusty road, huh buddy? You ready to get back on the regular road too? Alright, I'll take that as a yes. You just sit there with your tongue sticking out if you agree. Okay. Murphy agrees. We're almost to the end of this dust storm that we're in, or creating. Oh, the trailer. <laughs> it's so dusty back there on this side. Oh 
my goodness. Whoa. All right. Made it. Look how long and straight that road is. This is one of the things I love with having the RV and traveling and all that. Kids gotta go to the bathroom, need to pull over. You can just pull over. Are you, are you doing the happy dance? <laughs> Carly was just there bouncing up and down. Evan did the happy dance. <laughs> but it's just so nice. I mean, you can pull over wherever. I mean, we're out. I think this is 167, I'm not sure. It's in between, um, 395 and we got 95 over this way. We're heading to Hawthorne right now, gonna get some groceries and stuff and then head up to Walker Lake. There's Walker Lake right there. There's the town of Hawthorne. Scheduled for repair, use at your own risk. The south shores of Walker Lake are off limits to all unauthorized persons. This area contains unexploded munitions which could cause serious injury or death. Let's go swimming, guys. Yeah. <laughs> is that why no one's in there? Bombs is that why like no one's in there? Like Could be. That's what that sign means. Ew. Gross, I wouldn't want to go swim in there. Do you guys want to swim in there? Disgusting. Uh, or get in, jump in. Disgusting. Yeah. Should I go get the tube? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the ducks are enjoying it. Well, they're ducks. So we're at the Sportsman's Beach here at Walker Lake. Um, it's only six bucks a night to stay here. It's not bad. The lake isn't something you really want to go swimming in though. We walk down there, it's super green. Um, and I've heard it, it's become a lot more like salty, I guess, because it's not getting the water that it used to get. Um, so I don't know that it's really a lake that you want to come play at and stuff. This is just an easy place to stop at, uh, to stay the night, let the kids run around. They're riding their bikes and stuff. Right now, the little girls are inside the trailer. They're doing their speech therapy right now. And so we're hanging out outside while they're doing Zoom. Um, it's pretty cool that we can do our Zoom calls and all that stuff on the road. Um, but yeah, Sportsman Beach here at Walker Lake in Nevada. Six bucks. Easy place to stay, easy pull in. And even if you have a huge rig, there's plenty enough room to go and turn around. I mean, I can just turn around right here, but they have the road that goes down there and it loops around. So any size rig can come here, which is nice. I just wouldn't plan on this coming planning to come here and this be like a uh, oh let's go to the lake and go swimming type place it just really doesn't feel like that but it's a great place to stay very cheap and helped us out we're actually gonna go back into Hawthorne and go to there's like a military museum it's called something ordinance I don't know remember the name um, but we're gonna go check that out before we head up to Fallon to get ready for Sand Mountain so that's what we're doing Think Murph, Walker Lake okay? Just not for swimming though, huh? It's a pretty lake though. We are off to the. It's like a military museum. I don't really. I should have looked up that name. I'm bad with names, anyways. 
Something ordinance though. It's some ordinance museum back in Hawthorne. So we're gonna go like 10 miles back that way and check it out. Kids can check out some stuff, do some schooling, and then we will head up to Fallon. Here we go.